Hello people and welcome to Crypto Exposed. Okay guys, got a post here from the House of Chimera and um, I think this is a real great example of why people want to choose Hedera and I think this is, um, yeah, this says a lot but let me get into it. So we have a post here and they say comparative analysis of monthly average real TPS across layer ones. Hedera leads with approximately 1,715 TPS in July, maintaining its position as a leader in network analytics. Near Protocol remains in the top three, highlighting consistent growth and robust performance in recent months. So, I mean, guys, like, this is crazy. Like, I'm gonna actually show you the picture here. So if you can look at your screen, you can see exactly the image that's actually been used to display this. You can actually see the chart for yourself. So I'm going to tell you that the uh, what we've actually got here. You've got Aptos, and there's is 10 TPS. You've got Ethereum, which is 12 TPS. You've got Avalanche, which is 17 TPS. Uh, Sui, which is 26 uh, TPS. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one is. Is it Objective or something like that? They've got 31 TPS. Uh, Binance, 35 TPS. Say SEI, 46 TPS. Algorand, 45 TPS. Uh, Nia 77 TPS, Solana 477 TPS, and then you've got Hedera completely leading the pack by a landslide with 1,715 TPS. Guys, can you see the difference here? Like, even if you can see the image, can you see the difference from the graph? Like, I mean, if, even if you hear the numbers, there's a big difference between 477 and 1,715. So you can imagine how much of a gap there is here. Um, it's it's crazy. It's crazy and. To me, like the TPS, what people have to understand is like this is a big deal because this is what is going to prove uh, what network can really scale. It's about what networks can really handle high transactions per second. So like we might be thinking, oh, this is just a number, whatever. And, you know, people are bothered by price right now, so they might not be thinking much of this. But what we're talking about here is like when we talk about mass adoption and we've got the institutions involved and stuff like that, these are the kind of figures that they're going to want to see. And when you see Hedera dwarfing all the other networks by a landslide it's not even close this is where Hedera is just going to stand out right like if you look at this chart there's a huge bar for H bar and then all the rest are just literally just minute little bars like you can barely see them on the chart it's that small so what's obviously going to stand out if they go to let's say meetings and they show them things like this type of chart it, it just tells you everything you need to know and I'll just tell you a quick little story. Like, I'm an XRP holder, but I, I had some news come out where, you know, originally it was said that XRP can hit uh, 1,500 TPS, the XRP ledger. Now, there was something that came out a little while back where it was said that no one had actually seen the XRP ledger hit more than, I think it was like 300 to 500 TPS. So there's a lot of questions now, like, can XRP actually hit that 1,500? Now, people have said in certain circumstances it has been done, but they was talking about, like, test environments and things like that. So that changes things a little bit, right? Because if it's a test environment, it's been done in, like, certain circumstances and, like, maybe, like, perfect circumstances, you want real-world results, not test results, because that's done in a certain environment where it can be kind of manipulated. What you really want is just a real-world example. And so when I'm seeing like Adira hitting this type of TPS and we're not hearing of like the network going down, for example, because, you know, I've told you before for Solana, like I've heard numerous times that Solana is having outages. So to me, that's, you know, it's a bit of a warning sign when we're talking about mass adoption, right? In terms of the price, cool, you know, Solana is doing really well. But if we're talking about Solana as an actual chain, if you're having outages and you're not even hitting nowhere near Hedera's TPS, then why would you go with Solana? Right, you just think, well, we'll go with the network that's got a way higher TPS and we know hasn't had no issues with scaling, right? So to me, this is like a real um great insight into the future to me because I just think logically institutions will look at this and think, Yeah, Hadir is the obvious choice here. It's the one that's got the highest TPS that we can see is proven and it's had no issues with scaling, right? It's had no downtime, no outages or anything like that. So to me, this is really telling. And, you know, um, I think this is like a very important piece. Like I know people are getting frustrated because of the price, but this is what I'm saying to you guys. Like price isn't the great indicator of whether a network is good or not. It's really not like price is such a bad uh, metric to go by. And I've said it numerous times. 
What you want to know is that when the institutions are coming, they're going to want a network that they know works, that they know can scale, that they know can handle the problems that they need them to handle and has a good reputation. Hedera has that. So I see no reason why Hedera wouldn't be picked in that regard. To me, I would say that Hedera has a very bright future ahead of itself and this kind of stuff is evidence of that. So we'll see what happens. But to me, like the proof's in the pudding. Everything you need to see is here with Hedera. So they're tested and proven in my eyes. So I can't see why they won't be successful. So I thought I'd share this with you guys because I think this shows a very positive future for Hedera. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like and subscribe. Take care.